Hey guys, how you doing? This is Action Jackson. Just finished uh, an assembly with some young people and um, they had an exam this morning. And wow, it's, it's crazy because what I began to realize was that for our young people, they're scared, they're frustrated and they don't know where to start. And they find themselves concentrating on the tasks that are not so important and not so urgent, trivial tasks, computer games, social media and all the rest of it. And I'm asking myself this question, what are we really doing to prepare our young people to face the challenges of life? Okay, exams are not the way forward in terms of preparing people for life, but exams represent a challenge. Um, let's not look at the exam as the be all and end all. It's a means to an end. And what is that end? We want the young people to be able to tackle anything that life throws at them. Right now, for a lot of our young people, they don't know how to deal with challenges. We're talking about our IQ, intelligent, intelligent quotient. How about our AQ? Yeah, adversity quotient. <laughs> yeah, the AQ. How much are they able to deal with the adversity that's thrown at them on a day-to-day -day basis? Started with exams. How are we preparing them to deal with these challenges? The strangest of thing is this. For a lot of them, when it comes to dealing with challenges, they're aware of it. They're aware of it because on their computer games, it's all about challenges and conquering, okay? They watch movies, which is all about challenging and conquering. They're aware of these things, but do they believe they have the skills to be able to overcome their adversity? So here is the challenge for us all as teachers, leaders, and educators. We need to increase not just their IQ, we need to increase their AQ, Okay, the AQ is their adversity quotient. How much can they tackle? Or how much do they believe they can tackle? We know they can do it, but they don't. They don't believe they can do it. And our job is to equip them with those tools and those skills. And watch this, exams and assignments and controlled assessments is a means to an end. What is that end? Not just for the league tables to go up. No, 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 no. That's going to happen. See, that's going to happen anyway. But if we decide and say, listen, we need to prepare these young people for life by increasing the AQ. By saying, hey, listen, life will throw you a lot of curveballs. And if you can't handle it, you're going to run. And if you run, listen, you can't hide. You're 16 one minute, you're 30 the next. Yes, welcome to life. Can't deal with it. It's too much. What are you talking about? So for our young people, we need to shake them up. We need to shake them up, wake them up. We need to shake them up, wake up. Whatever it takes for us to do it, we've got to do it because it scares me to stand in front of young people who are, 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 are melting at the sight of just an exam. Okay, so here's a challenge and an encouragement to the teachers, educators and leaders who are watching this. Please help our young people to increase their AQ. Because that, that there is the key to life. How much adversity can I tackle without feeling that, oh, life is over? And human beings, we're very resilient. It's amazing. So let's not start too late. Let's not start too late. Let's start very early. If we can start teaching uh, adversity, uh, dealing with adversities from like year eight, imagine what they'll be able to do by year 11, 12, 13. The truth of the matter is by the time our students get to key stage four and five, we should not have to be sort of getting them across the finishing line, kicking and screaming. Provided if we planted the right seed, if we planted the right seed in year seven, eight and nine, that three years of investment will give us a return in year 10, 11, and 12. Ideally, that's how it should work. I mean, think about the um, Olympic athlete. Four years of training towards one particular challenge. We don't pick the athlete and say, hey, last minute, come quickly. And that's what we're doing with our students. Hey, you're going to run a marathon next week. And that's how it feels. And their brain can't handle that. But if we start them early... And we make it fun and make it challenging at the same time that they don't feel the pressure, but they now got the skills. By the time the real pressure comes, they've got this. And by the time they get to the real world, they will thank you for preparing them on how to deal with life itself. Let's not just increase IQ, let's increase their AQ and make things happen. <laughs> A little phrase in my head. Let's not just increase the IQ, let's increase their AQ so that one day they'll come back and say thank you.
<laughs> my name is actually Jackson. Say thank you very much for watching this. Share this with educators, and um, let's make this happen. Let's make this happen.